friends, and greetings to you on this Feast of Pentecost. It's a wonderful feast, and I must say from the beginning, I'm wearing this red shirt rather than my habit because I want to show through this color the power and the, the burning love of the Holy Spirit by wearing this red shirt. So I hope uh, it works okay for you as it does for me. We're celebrating Pentecost, and yet I can't let go of Ascension too quickly. I think about the Ascension of Jesus and the time between his resurrection and the Ascension and how he stayed with his disciples. It was as if he didn't really want to say goodbye yet. He wanted to talk to them more. He wanted to share more with them about his love for them. And then the time came for him to ascend to the Father and send to us the Holy Spirit. And that's what we celebrate in this feast. <clears throat> the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit who descends upon us on this feast day. I know you're all very aware of how we think of Pentecost as the birth of the church, and so it is. And in our readings, we hear Paul talking about the gifts of the Holy Spirit um, and how we all have different gifts and contribute to the one body. And all of that is very true and very important. But what's filling my heart on this feast, this celebration at this time in our own land in a particular way and in the world itself, as we look at what's happening in Ukraine and the violence that is so pervasive, uh, my heart goes to a different place. I think about the Holy Spirit and this powerful presence of God's divine love being poured out upon us. But I'm not so sure how well we are receiving that gift. How can there be the hatred that surrounds us? How can, for example, a young man who's 18 years old uh, sit at his computer and write a 180-page manifesto saying nothing more than the awful language of white supremacy and the hatred for other people of color, and then plan a moment where he would go and do violence to kill. How can that happen? And we talk about mental illness. Yes, there is mental illness. Uh, but something preceded that, something like hate filled his heart and not love. How can a young man who's obviously not well in Uvalde, Texas, go and buy weapons that can tear half a forest apart and then deliberately open that weapon and point it at little children who are going to die, little angels? How can that happen? How is it that hatred filled his heart, his mentally ill heart by this time, and cause the little ones to lose their life? Why is it that the love of the Holy Spirit that is poured out so freely is not being embraced? And I don't know how, what the answer is. I don't know, except that somewhere along the line, all of us together, it's not just one person, it's all of us, has forgotten, not remembered all that Jesus shared before he returned to the Father. He, he reminded us that we have to keep loving one another, that we must love one another as he has loved us. Have we forgotten that? Is that why all of this is happening? Has our faith and, and the meaning of God's presence in our life been relegated to a private matter on weekends and that all that really matters is the marketplace Monday through Friday? Is that what's happening to us? I have a, a beautiful quote, and it's from uh, a servant of God. He's not yet canonized. His name is Luis Maria Martinez. And he wrote and he said, the first gift of love is love itself. And all the other gifts come from this gift as from their source. And so the gift of the love of God is the Holy Spirit. 
The Holy Spirit does not give himself to us without pouring charity into our hearts. Yes, Pentecost is about the Holy Spirit descending and tongues of flame to, to get us moving, to be energized. But it's also about love being poured into our hearts. And somewhere along the line, we have not allowed this love to be poured into our hearts. And we have to work so much harder. We have to be so much more open to the Holy Spirit, to the love of the Holy Spirit, however we know God in our lives. We have to choose love, not political expediency, not my own personal preferences. We have to listen to love and not the sources of anger and, and, and fear. We have to open our hearts to love. And that's what this Pentecost is all about for me. And I hope for you and all of us as a church and as a people, open our hearts to the gift of love. Let the Holy Spirit pour charity and love into our hearts this Pentecost. God bless you all. Mm -hmm.